The total solar eclipse is only two weeks away. Communities here in central Indiana are getting ready for an influx of traffic and visitors. WRTV's Meredith Hackler is finding out how both Johnson and Marion counties are preparing for the challenges those big crowds could bring. The Grill Bar in Franklin, Indiana has been around since the 1940s. It's safe to say they've seen some moments in history, which is why they're making special preparations for the total solar eclipse. So we're doing a cash only. It's going to be all disposable and we're going to have a very limited menu. Johnson County and the city of Franklin have been preparing for the eclipse for a couple of years, but they say residents need to be prepared as well. Our residents, we're asking them to um, Get their groceries early that week. Make sure you have medications. Fuel up your gas tank. All that stuff way in advance and kind of prepare it like if there was a snowstorm coming. And that's for a good reason. According to Franklin Parks and Recreation, they're expecting anywhere from 100 to 300,000 people for the eclipse, especially since Franklin is in the path of totality. That's why they're asking restaurants, vendors, and those attending to carry cash. Make sure that they have plenty of cash in case we need to go cash only because we don't know what the internet's going to be like and if it's going to get bogged down. As soon as you put a little pressure on the pedals, it'll just propel you forward. In Marion County, Indianapolis Emergency Medical Services says the total eclipse is an all hands on deck situation. They are most concerned about traffic, which is why they will be adding even more first responders to the mix. We're adding another truck to help our responses in case we get bogged down by heavy traffic. And we're adding e-bikes, which are, uh, we're gonna have a team on, uh, of paramedics and EMTs running e-bikes in case the traffic is so heavy that they can maneuver their way to get to the, uh, the critical runs. Meredith Hackler, WRTV. The e-bikes go just under 30 miles an hour. IEMS says it's a good idea to carry water, food, and any medication you may need with you in case traffic requires you to be in your vehicle for an extended amount of time. We do have an entire section up on our website that shows you special eclipse events and what you need to know about this rare occurrence here in Indiana. Just head over to WRTV.com and you'll find it at the top of the page.